Sheep fans, good morning. Cammy's the name, Sheep's the game. Today we're doing something, well, a bit different than we have been recently. There's been a lot of sales on the go and not so much general sheep work, which I know a lot of you like. And today we're back on the general sheep jobs. We're Zolviksen, our store lambs and our ewe lambs, although we did them yesterday. Today we're going to be dozing our store lambs before we put them away to grass. So we'll be going through the Tapari system here. It'll be weighing the lambs, it'll then be telling my automatic gun how much to give the lambs and we'll be dozing them using that method. We'll doze every lamb when we're using Zolvix because touch wood, hopefully, certainly on this farm, there should be zero resistance to Zolvix so that should kill out all those worms in there. We're also going to be giving them an Ovivac and a Heptivac, bit of a mix because just that's what we could get at the time. But the idea of this, rightly or wrongly, I'm fully open to criticism, is we give them a jag now and it hopefully gets them through those dodgy months of uh, changing weather and risk to pneumonia. That's kind of what we're thinking. We, we've given them a dunt of this. We only give them one jag to see them through. Is it right? Is it wrong? Let me know in the comments what you think of that. And yeah, that's it. Just now, obviously everything will be going on flock watch as we go, recording the medicines, recording the dozing. As always though, when we doze them, we put them back to the same pasture for a day or two and then we move them. So let's go on with it. So as you see here, as soon as we switch the Tapari on, it's already seen that the, the gun is active. I've got this gun switched on and we've got, we're not drafting today, so that's not required, ID not required, and we've got calibrated dozing, which is the big one. Um, there is a previous wait for these lambs. Oh, a lot of coughing going on. Too much running this morning. We're gonna mark previous wait because these lambs have all been weighed already although some of them may not have tags. Yeah, there's a couple with no tags, so we're going to change that to first weight. Ignore me, because some of these new tags will need red. And hit next. So you see yesterday was all fixed to your lambs. Today, or do we keep that the same? No, let's change that. Add an event, and it's going to be Zolvix stores. Sorry about all the coughing dozing gun and it's this one number five I should have wrote Zolvix in there but I didn't but just trust me that's correct and I've got that set to one mil per ten kilos which is the correct weight for uh, Zolvix uh, and just the date to change here and it's quite good I can then go back and see if I was recording this all properly it would record on this system of medicines but actually and it would record what every lamb gets but I'm actually using flock watch for all that kind of stuff um, rather than I'm not really into spreadsheets and, and these kind of things uh, and it's Saturday 17th today. Done, save, next. And I just click weigh mark because we're not drafting today so it doesn't matter. Yes, there might be new animals to weigh. Yes, copy from last event. I just make that up because again, I'm not really using that information. And boom, we're ready to start. So now as you see, obviously things are much easier again. So we're bringing the lambs in. You see this lamb here, is it 39.9 kilos? Which isn't too far away from where we want it to be in fact. If you look, this is quite interesting. The last time I weighed this lamb was two months ago and it's put on 15 kilos since then. So when we show this lamb, would that be when we show them? No, just before we show them, um, it would be 24.7 kilos. Now it's put on 15 kilos and it's at 39.9. It's amazing how they, amazing how lambs grow. It really is. So, it gets a dose now. Lizzie comes in, gives it a jag under the skin. We release, the next one comes through, hopefully. It's one of those things, they run so smooth until we try and do something with the camera and then like just because Marissa's, Marissa's behind the camera there and it's just spooking the lambs and upsetting the rhythm a wee bit. But so 35 kilos there and I don't, you can't really see the gun because it must be the way it, it flickers. But it's 3.5 on the gun. As I say, it's one mil per 10 kilos. And we've got the eyes set nice and far forward there, so 36 kilos this lamb, 3.6. And the lamb's nice and far forward. You can doze it, Lizzie can get in, do the skin dead easy. Now, I mean, here's another good example. Lizzie there is, oh here's one we will, this will be tight, because we've got it shut right down. 43 kilos, that lamb, I think we'll shed this one out. We ran out, or we're out of stuff there, so we'll need to pause the enemy. We'll give this lamb a dose because it's here anyway. I'm going to shed this lamp. 
come back to you in a second because I've got a terrible gate set up here. So obviously one good thing about dozing your lambs at this time of day, which is not far off lunchtime, is that they've got full bellies. So they're weighing heavy, so I'm definitely not under dozing. 38.6 kilos gives me 39, uh, 3.9 rather. So it rounds it up slightly, which is of, of course a good thing. Always better to overdose than underdose. And I appreciate a lot of folk don't have a setup like this, so if you don't, oh, I'm there. If you don't, always overdose rather than underdose. Another great factor with the Tapari system here is the fact that Lizzie's now six, seven months pregnant? No, six months. Lizzie's six months pregnant and she can work here with these wild lambs with absolutely no risk. Okay, so we are finished there. The sheep are behind me. Sorry to throw you around so quick there. I hope you don't feel sick. We noticed a skip. This is all from a old bits of wool and stuff like that that weren't good enough to make the grade or I didn't tidy up in time and get soaking. It's probably more realistic. Lambs dozed, heptivact or ovivact, whatever we had there. Hopefully to get them through that stage of the changing weather, cover them for the next two or three months. Hopefully most of them starting to go in the next two or three months. Another thing I should say. They're going to get put back out now, back onto the same pasture, and then they'll be going to fresh grass in a couple of days. But we're not finished for the day. There's more work to do. Although there's more farm work to do, that is the end of this one, sheep fans. I hope you've enjoyed it. A very simple edit and a look at some general farm work that we're doing loads of just now. This quick edit like this lets me put out more videos per week. But let me know in the comments what you thought of it. I'm always looking to adapt and improve. Thanks for watching. See you for the next one.